have now close to 120 public art projects in, in the metropolitan area of Houston. And I've never gotten a call saying there's graffiti on this piece. Can you come and clean this up because somebody has vandalized it? Which speaks to another part of the value of this work and it's deprived it, it, that it holds that somebody's taking care of this, somebody's looking after it. And it's the people living around it. It's not me, I'm not going out monitoring all this work, um, but, but it just drives me to continue doing more. So it's public art that's created by the public. We, we say we put the public back into public art. So now there's ownership of, uh, of the art and, and of the creative process. Now, once you own the art, then you may want to see other art. Oh, absolutely. No, actually, you will want to create more of it. You will want to find other ways to uh, exercise that creative muscle, okay? The art is just the byproduct of, of creativity. Um, the more we exercise that muscle, like anything, you, you know, uh, an athlete, the more they, they, they lift the weights, the stronger their arms get, the, the more they can carry, the, the more they, they, they bench press. The, and the, the same way with creativity, the more you exercise that muscle, you find other facets of your life in which you can resolve issues quickly, differently.